Okay, so I did indeed want to make a video about this topic because Firstly, it's a trade rumor. It's a team being interested in a player in another team. But I also wanted to make a video about this because the timing of this idea being brought up into the atmosphere was very strange to me. Like, I get it. When you get a scoop and when you hear information about what a team wants or what a team is thinking about doing, you want to go out there and share it to the world right away because you've got the scoop and you want that cloud, right? But the timing of this piece of news coming out is so delicate, I think, because it kind of gets a conversation going that I don't really think Wild fans or Senators fans should be having, at the very least, at this point in time. Let's go over onto Sean Simpson's Twitter account, because the TSN insider, broadcaster, analyst, morning host on 1200 went out there and said this on Twitter. He says... I'm hearing the Ottawa Senators are interested in Kevin Fiala from Minnesota. That would certainly be a great fit in the top six. He turns 26 in July and is on a one-year deal at $5.1 million a season, and he's an RFA this summer. With only one year until UFA status, you would want a long-term deal in place. Now, this was posted on February 9th, so it was a few days ago. I apologize for it being late. Also, he posted this at 2.52 a.m. in the morning PST. I guess it was 5 52 a.m. in Eastern Standard Time, so that makes a lot more sense. But either way, this is the idea we're bringing up, and it was brought up on February 9th. I say the entire timeline of when this was brought up is difficult, because when this tweet was published, we had ourselves a whole bunch of Senators fans and a few Wild fans going out there and talking about the idea of a Kevin Fiala trade with the Ottawa Senators sending him over to the Sens. And... I want to just kind of nip that in the bud right here. No, you're not going to see a Fiala trade to Ottawa within the next few weeks, pretty much. Because the Minnesota Wild, let's take a look at the NHL standings right now and where this team is. In the Central, they're second place behind the Colorado Avalanche, 61 points in 43 games played. They're very good, 8-1-1 in their last 10, and they have the fewest games played out of all the Central Division teams. And so when it comes to the idea of a Kevin Fiala trade, they're not trading this guy in the next few weeks. They're waiting until after the season is done to get any sort of movement with this player or a Matt Dumba or anybody else on the roster to free up cap space. And so anybody in Ottawa who's trying to say, okay, let's see if we can get a trade, it's not going to happen. Like, you have a few months before this entire thing is even going to be a possibility. Any trade Minnesota makes is going to be for the sake of improving their team in the now. And trading away Kevin Fiala or a Dumba or whatever is not going to necessarily do that. They're not going to get anybody of significant enough value to replace the value that that guy or Dumba has in their team, and then some. And so you can just rule out the idea of any of these guys getting traded during the regular season pretty much indefinitely. But either way, there still is an idea to talk about, and it's kind of why I wanted to bring this up in this video, because when it comes to Kevin Fiala, if we go over the profile right here, he is 25 years old, 5'10", 205, a winger center. He plays all forward positions, according to Elite Prospects, making $5.1 million this season. He's got himself an expiring deal, and whatever happens with his RFA contract status is going to be pretty interesting. I think anybody who has Kevin Fiala on their team would want to go long-term with this player. Why? Because he's a pretty talented goal-scoring machine. 14 goals, 43 games played, 36 total points. Last season, he had 40 points in 50 games played, and he had 54 points in 64 the year before that. He is a point producer, and he's a guy that has honestly developed pretty well under the Minnesota Wild. And unfortunately for him, it's just the Wild, they have themselves a few cap problems that they're gonna have to try to sort out, whether that means trading away a Fiala or trading away a Dumba or whatever, because those are kind of the names that everybody is throwing around when it comes to cap space free up ability, I guess you could say. Kevin Fiala is a talented player, but because he's a talented player and because he's under a point per game, you're not going to get this guy to resign at 5.1 million bucks. There is going to be an extension and there is going to be a pay raise. So, since it's a rational guess to say that the Wild might not be able to afford it, Kevin Fiala will likely find himself on another team by the time 21-22 rolls around, or excuse me, 22-23 rolls around. Time's going by so fast, it kind of sucks. That is unless Kevin Fiala straight up just takes a pay cut and he goes against the grain, takes under six million bucks or around six million bucks, 
on a long-term deal to stay in Minnesota, then we're not talking about this entire thing, but that's boring, isn't it? So, let's go over what the Ottawa Senators could potentially see in a guy like Fiala. This is a team that does need some pretty finesse sniper kind of guys, I think you could say. Kevin Fiala is exactly that. You could say Tim Stutzla has qualities like that to his game, but... The Ottawa Senators don't really have too many other players like that. They've got physical guys, they've got two-way capable guys, they've got players who know how to battle along the boards and give their opponents a difficult time. That's kind of the identity the Sens have built for themselves over the past few years. So it makes a player like Kevin Fiala, who can play all forward positions, who is 25, he's in his prime, and he's a pretty capable scoring forward, a very attractive option. Now what exactly could the Sens give up in a Fiala trade? Well firstly, you have to go out there and establish that should Ottawa make this trade for Kevin Fiala, you're not trading for Kevin Fiala. You're going to be trading for Kevin Fiala's rights, because this trade is not going to go on until the offseason, and this guy's going to be an RFA. He's going to have this entire negotiation to go through. Whether or not he goes to arbitration or not, it remains to be seen. And... That entire process is going to be a headache for any team that acquires this guy, or for the Wild themselves if they don't decide to trade him. Therefore, the Sens have two options here. Either they A, get Fiala on a reduced price, they trade instead of the amount that he actually would be worth, they trade like a fraction of that because you're not trading for an actual player, you're only trading for the negotiation rights, or you trade a little bit more of an equal package for Kevin Fiala and his services under the guise that you have a contract already worked out. And you make this trade, you sign him immediately, you don't have to go through the entire process that says, okay, he might go to arbitration, he might only sign for one year, and he might go to free agency next year, and he might leave. So you're probably going to only get a year of this guy. Like, you need to make sure you are certain in Kevin Fiala signing with your team and sticking around for a while, because it's not going to make that trade worth it in the slightest if he just up and away leaves a year from now. Which is why I say if you don't have that guarantee, you can actually send maybe a smaller amount of assets to Minnesota to make things work, but... Minnesota knows what they have with this player. They know how much he is worth, so it really does depend. Now, as for what the Ottawa Senators could maybe give up, I'd been seeing a few Sens fans and Wild fans alike saying a guy like Ridley Gregg might be in this kind of conversation. The Senators have a few D prospects, but the Wild don't really need any of those at the moment. They do have some pretty good forward prospects and young forwards at their disposal too, but they don't really have anybody who fits that sort of play style that a Ridley Gregg has. He's a very hard worker, battles along the boards, he's a nasty player to play against because he's so physical, aggravating, and... He's just a buzzsaw out there, pretty much. And as we highlighted at the beginning of the video, the Ottawa Senators kind of have a few guys who play similar sort of roles. Obviously, Grig is kind of a master at his craft, but you still do have Brady Kachuk. You still have these other big-bodied forwards that can play along the half boards like Batherson. You do have a Norris in this team. So... These types of players, like Ridley Gregg, might not be the most desirable for Ottawa at the moment, even though they are the team that drafted this player. So, just in regular terms of surplus versus need versus what a team could use more of, this makes sense a little bit. Like, obviously, I'm not saying Fiala for Grigg straight up, but maybe Grigg in a second, Grigg in a first, Grigg in a little bit more. There are some conversations that I think you can have that actually do make sense, and this might be one of them. So you can talk to me in the comments what do you think about what the Ottawa Senators should give up in a Kevin Fiala trade should they actually go out there and acquire the rights to signing this guy. Again, this trade is probably not going to go down. It's definitely not going to go down anytime in the next few weeks. You're going to have to wait until after the season is over to see anything manifest here. So, let me know in the comments. What do you think the Ottawa Senators should give up? Do you like the idea I discussed about here? Ridley Gregg? Maybe a few picks in there? Is there anybody else you think the Minnesota Wild should target? If you're a Wild fan, then let me know in the comments as well. What do you want from the Ottawa Senators and their prospect pool if you're not able to go out there and solidify a future in Minnesota for Fiala? Let's say he goes out there and wants his money. He's a point-per-game, sub-point-per-game player and he's making only 5 million bucks this year, so he's kind of legit at this point in time, is he not? Let me know in the comments your thoughts about this idea. I hope you enjoyed this British Royal Charles 9 and bye. <laughs>